hey what's going on guys welcome back to the channel in today's video we are going to take a look at the newest version of hit film express which is version 12 so it was just released and i just uh, downloaded finished downloading it and installed it so we can just uh, you can just go to this link and check out what's new you can see that they have added the color labels and performance improvement as well we also have the text tool which can be used inside the editor timeline uh, we also have the color labels i will see that in a moment and we have some collection of templates for lower thirds uh, these are pre-made lower thirds inside it film so we'll take a look at that as well so overall uh, this update is actually very nice uh, there are some enhancement enhancements as well so you can just read through these and just some bug fixes as well so big update um lots of uh improvements lots of changes in the ui as well so if we open up it film uh, this is how it is going to look when you open it up you can see everything um not everything but uh, the ui has been changed a lot you can see we have these new icons updated icons nice uh color overall color of this uh, of this program let's see uh the first thing we have is this text tool this was a must have you can we you had to create a composite chart in order to add text inside the editor timeline now uh that's not the case anymore you can just select your text tool just tap in this area right here the viewer area and you can just start typing your text like that um so we have our text and we can then go inside the text tab let me just change the layout i have my own layout so if i just use that that helped me a lot so um so we have the text tab and we can here we can just change the font size and everything that is related to font and we can go to the layout tab and just align the text in the center pretty quickly so uh, this is all in the editor timeline so this is a pretty neat feature we can also set labels for this so if you just right click on this go to label and we can just basically pick any color for this um, this will help you to you know in uh, organizing your project um, so this was this is also a really nice feature in the in this update and in the media tab if you right click on this empty area you can now go to import and click on install install templates so if you click on that then you can pick choose any kind of lower third that you want to use um, so if we select the very first one you have the option to import it as a composite chart so it will open this up inside its own composite chart you also have the option to import it just a simple graphic and you can just click on that you can see it's right here you can just simply double click and just drag it onto the timeline like so and this is the lower third want to change the text you can simply do that by selecting the text tool and just selecting the text that you want to change and uh, do the same thing with the secondary text as well we can also go to the controls and we have the option to change the text from here as well so if you want to edit the title you click on this and it will automatically select the or highlight the text I just had to begin typing your title or the name that you want to use similarly you can click on the edit subtitle it's going to automatically select the text and you, you can just straight away begin typing your text so let's just undo that and then we have the option to change the color as well so if we just go to the starting of this animation you can see this is our very first box uh, white color we can change that color as well so if we click on this color uh, we can just basically pick any color from this window so let's just use this one click on ok you can see it's getting applied let's move forward and uh, we have the second box color which is orange 
we can change that with a different color there we go then we can also change the line color the line in the middle we can change the color as well click on ok and there we have it and then we have the scale option as well if you want to enlarge this you can just change the it's basically changing the scale of this line right so we have that and then you might also notice that our options panel it used to be on the right side the top right corner now it's right in the bottom right corner and then we can choose the rendering quality you set that a full half draft now we can change it individually as well then we can create our composite shot let's click on ok let's create something like a text and uh, we can also change the labels so we can just click on this box right here and we can just quickly pick any color to label our layers right so that is that is pretty much it for the uh, for this update there are uh, tons of improvements in uh, regarding the performance i cannot show you that in this video you just have to see that for yourself i really like the new update tell me what you guys think about this new update yeah so let me know in the comments below other than that if this video was helpful if you enjoyed watching this please don't forget to leave a like and also subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys in the next one